Hello to all my curly queens and kinky divas. That sounds a bit questionable. But anyway, um, happiness and nappiness. You ever see people when you make the YouTube video and they introduce themselves as their YouTube name? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, I have a review. I'm going to review Shea Moisture today. And I've used these before. I, it was a few years ago when I first started using them. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm going to be reviewing the Deep Treatment Mask. The Hold and Shine Hibiscus Moisture Mist. The Curl and Style Milk. And the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I'll start with the mask because this is the one I don't like. So I'll start with the negative and work my way up to the positive. I don't like this. I don't feel like it did anything for my hair. My hair felt basically the same after I rinsed this out. And you know how most of the time when you're applying a deep conditioner, while you have it on your hair, your hair at least feels soft. My hair didn't even really feel soft when I had this on, when I was putting it on my hair. When I rinsed it out, I didn't notice anything. It was not softer. I didn't really, I always leave on my deep conditioner and um, I'll detangle it under the running water as I said in a previous video. I didn't, it was not difficult for me to detangle my hair, but it definitely did not really aid very much in the detangling process. Uh, it's really thick, but you see it. It's it's like the consistency of I don't even know how to describe it. It's thick. Um I don't like it though. The scent is okay. It's it's really nutty. Um not that I have a problem with nutty scents, but I it, overall I don't like the the deep treatment mask. I don't feel like it made my hair moisturize. I don't feel like it gave it any shine. It doesn't really have any slip. I don't feel like it benefited me at all. I don't. Okay. Now I'll go to the Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. Hold. Yeah, I'm not thinking it gives me any hold. I don't think it does anything to hold my hair at all. But I really do like this um, for the purposes of when I want to like re-wet my hair. And I don't really want to use water to re my hair. I would rather use something that has some type of moisturizing properties. I'll use this. Uh, but other than that, I don't really use it for anything else. <laughs> but for that, I like it. Um, and I always rate my products on a scale of 1 to 5. 5 being the best, 1 being the worst. I give this like a 2. I give this like a like 3.8. If I could. I don't want to give it a 4 because I don't really think it benefits me in any way. But I do like to use it. I use it, obviously. I don't have that much left. Can you see? I don't have that much left. So I've been using it. But I don't really feel like it does much of anything other than if I want to moisten my hair. And I don't want to use water to re-wet it. I want to use something with a little bit of moisture in it. I'll use this. Um... The Curl and Style Milk. I like this. This has some slip to it. Um, I feel like it is moisturizing. It does give my hair a little bit of shine. Not greasy. Not super thick. Not runny. I like the consistency of it. So, can you see how I'm pouring it? So that's what it looks like. It's not, it doesn't want to come out right now. There it goes. Okay. So it's almost like the consistency of a really, really thick lotion. So where's my, where's my, I keep, I dropped my laptop, oh my god, but anyway, you just see me wiping it off as I'm talking, I'll just put it in my hair, but um, I like it, so I do like the uh, moisture milk, anyway, the curl enhancing smoothie, you see that, I like that too, mmm, go winky dink, I like both of them, I often use them together, you heard that? That was my laptop because I'm wiping stuff off. I use them together. I'm one of those people that likes to use more than one product at a time. I'm a little heavy handed with my products. And I layer them so that I'm not constantly re-moisturizing my hair. I don't mind leaving the house with my hair wet. wet. Well, I 
I'll say white. I don't mind leaving the house with my hair a little white because eventually, depending on the combination of products I use, the whiteness will dissipate and I won't have to continuously re-moisturize my hair over and over and over again. So, to recap, I would give this a four and a half. I like this. It's really thick. And all of them do that really thick. Same thing as the moisture milk, though. Give milk get a little bit of shine. It feels moisturized, feels soft. Um, doesn't flake up on me. And smells decent. It smells nice. It's like a soft, clean smell with a hint of sweet coconut. Is that a good description? Hope so. Um, so, four and a half for the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Four and a half for the milk. Can't even see the label. Four and a half for the milk. Eh, like a, like a three, I guess, or, yeah, three. This is a very low two, <laughs> so it's just at a two. I didn't like the deep treatment mask at all. So, I hope this helped a little bit. Oh, and in case you're wondering if you're one of those people, it is cruelty-free. No parabens, no paraffin, no gluten, no propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no animal testing, no synthetic color, no animal ingredients, no sulfates. So it is very, it's definitely, definitely natural. <laughs> and I like it. So I do like Shea Moisture's line with the exception of the deep treatment mask. Eh, did nothing for me. Everything else, I will put this on first. This is usually after on freshly like co-washed or washed hair. I'll put this on first. I'll put a little bit of the moisture milk and then I'll do the curl enhancing smoothie and then I'll do whatever I'm going to do if I'm doing finger coils or if I'm doing twists or if I'm doing a braid out or if I'm just finger styling and just wearing my hair its natural texture. That's how I do it. So I hope that helped a little bit and that's all I have to say. Okay.